Will this actually work? Let's find out. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I know a lot of you have been wondering where have the drag racing videos been? Let's face it, I know a lot of my subscribers are here specifically for the drag racing content. It's no secret. The drag racing videos are some of my favorite to make and I really enjoy seeing all the interaction and the comments and all the interest in my progress with the drag car. Recently I had a little bit of an unexpected issue I guess you could say. One of my two batteries that I use for this car ended up dying and when I say that I mean like really dead. I can't put a charge back in it. I'm not really sure what happened but I needed to get a new one. It's kind of a hassle to go out with just one battery with this car. I like to have two so that's why you haven't seen it in a while. But I just picked up a new battery. I had a lot of luck with the Gen Zace red lines in the past. So I picked up this one. This is a drag specific battery. 130C discharge, 6100 milliamp hour. You can see it's a pretty small pack, but it's also kind of thick. I didn't really take something into account when purchasing this pack though. A while back, I did a video switching my ESC over to bullet connectors, and this is 5mm bullets, which is on most of my shorty lipo packs. But this one has 8mm bullets. These are the bullets it came with. You can actually see the difference here in the 8 to the 5mm. It's a huge difference. And because I still have one other battery that's perfectly fine that runs a 5mm bullet, I'm not ready to switch over to the 8mm just yet. So it seems like I need some sort of adapter. That's where this comes in. I just made this, I came up with this, did a little research online and I've seen that there's actually adapters made for a four to five millimeter bullet. So why can't I make one for a five to eight millimeter bullet? I'm sure I'll get a little flack in the comments below about this isn't the best solution and I'm just adding more resistance in the electrical system and I'll have voltage drop, but this is just a short term solution for now. I wanna see if it works. Let me show you how I made this. So first things first, this is a five millimeter female bullet connector. We're gonna add a little solder in here, just like you would normally do. With the five millimeter connector pretend, we're gonna go ahead and do the same to some wire now. This is some 12 gauge wire, fits perfectly in that five millimeter bullet. We're just gonna strip a really small section off at the end and pretend this as well. Pretty straightforward so far. We pretend the wire and the connector. So now we're just gonna put our wire in the connector and solder those together. With that off to the side now, I've taken my eight millimeter bullet that came with the battery and put it in my jig here and we're gonna pretend it. This one's a lot bigger than that five millimeter. So it takes a good bit more heat to get the solder in there. And we also want a good bit of solder in there. So the connection between the two is very strong. You should be able to see now we got a good bit of solder inside of that bullet connector. Only a few more steps. Next up, we're just gonna trim our wire back a little bit. So about right here, I'd say. We don't want too much wire. We want this to sink in pretty far, maybe even a little more. And we're gonna strip the casing off this wire as well. Next, we wanna pre tin this end of the wire as well. And lastly, which is relatively straightforward, we wanna solder this into our eight millimeter connector. Again, we need a good bit of heat here, so this may take a moment to get that solder warmed up and let that connector fall into the other connector. And lastly, just to make this as clean as possible, we'll add a little heat shrink tube in here. And obviously that'll also help us differentiate between the negative post and the positive post. So now battery can go straight in the car and we can plug our wires straight in and the car should work no problem now. 
This also allows me to use my original charging leads for these batteries. I don't have to buy or make up any new 8mm leads now. So these posts will stay on this battery for now. Like I said, maybe later on if I get another one of these or something, I'll switch to 8mm bullets on these wires. Just a quick, simple solution to a problem I ran into. Now we can get back out and do some more running with this car. I do have one more thing to do to make this battery work though. I'm sure you might have noticed already, but I don't believe my battery strap will work with this battery. I don't believe those posts are tall enough to screw in those thumb screws. So we need a new solution to that. I have a thought on this already and I'm actually gonna start working on it now, but let me know what you think in the comments below. What would you do in this situation? I still want to be able to use this pack as well as the thinner packs that I have. So I don't really want to extend these out too much. For the time being, I can, but that is not my long-term solution. So leave a like if you enjoyed this video. I know I'm going to get a whole bunch of comments on this and I'm kind of interested to see what kind of comments I get anyway. Let me know what you think about these adapters I made as well as what you think for a new battery mounting system. Make sure to subscribe if you're ready to see more drag racing content. The last time out, I hit a new personal best. And now we got the drone to get some cool aerial footage. So hopefully we can get some really cool new drag racing videos for you guys. We're coming into the new year full speed ahead and we're going to keep it full throttle. As always, thanks again for watching. Peace.